The last thing we're going to take a look at is Virtuoso's self-healing, which basically means that if you, when you write your tests and Virtuoso goes through and identifies all the selectors, things like XPass and IDs and class names and so on, in a lot of applications, those change, whether between releases or every time you run the application. So basically, if automation was reliant on, let's say, a fixed ID and that changes, then causes the automation to break. In Virtuoso, however, we have self-healing. So when I execute this test, we can see that on certain steps we've collected, let's say, IDs or class names. But then every time the test is executed, so we look into the project activity, and if we come through an unfilter, and we're going to look through all of the tests here, basically what we can see is the test I've just run. If we drill into that and we see that there are little sticking plasters in the project activity and the test reports, so you can see that the step element has been automatically healed. We're using machine learning algorithms to be able to heal the step if there are changes. So by clicking on this step, which has the sticking plaster, and going to the healing tab, we can see in this case, the class names have changed. And we can also see that the XPath has also updated. So that's been fixed automatically. You don't need to do anything. And that happens every time the test runs. If we run it again, let's re-execute and let's go back to the project activity. We can see that the test is running. If we drill in, so the test is gonna run through. So let's let it do that. And as it comes through and it gets to a certain point which should fail at the bug step, we will see that it fails. And then it will populate and show us that with the sticking plaster that healing has occurred. And again, if we drill into that, again, we can see that this is a dynamic element that's changing every time the test is running. In this case, we're automatically healing this. This could be XPass, class names, IDs, pretty much anything in the selectors, but also it could be the labels changing on screen. So the key thing here to be aware of is more to say that your test should keep running without you really having to consider things like having to maintain the test through otherwise things that would cause the test to break. So that's how you can see Virtuoso self-healing in action. Every time there's a sticking plaster, then in the healing tab, it will show you what has healed. Basically, you don't have to do that yourself.